the United Kingdom's update report on the 2017 Universal Periodic Review of the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. Information in this booklet. Introduction. Section 1. Helping disabled people to live independently. Section 2. Work and employment. Section 3. Adequate standard of living and social protection. Section 4. Follow-up information on recommendations in the 2016 Inquiry Report. Section 5. Further information. Introduction. The United Kingdom, UK, of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, which includes England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland, agreed to the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities in 2009. The Convention makes sure disabled people are treated equally in society. From time to time, a United Nations Committee asks questions to check what governments are doing, to make sure that disabled people have the same rights as other people. This is called a review. The UK had a review in 2017. After the review, the UN Committee made some recommendations about what the UK should be doing for disabled people. This booklet shows what questions the UN Committee asked the UK. It also shows the government's answers. The Convention. This is an agreement made by governments to make sure disabled people have the same rights as other people in their country. Section 1. Helping disabled people to live independently and be a part of their local area. The UN Committee asked the UK to make sure we are helping disabled people live independently and be a part of their local area, community. Living independently. This means people having choice and control over the care and support services they need to live the way they want to. The government said, we want disabled people to live independently, such as living in their own home. We also want people to be a part of their community or local area. Community. This means the people, schools, shops and companies in the local area. Good communities are places where people join in and do things together to make their area a good place to live. We have a law called the CARE Act 2014 that helps people to live independently. It says that local councils must think about each person's choices, beliefs and feelings when providing care, so that the person can have control over their day-to-day -day lives. Local councils will pay for all or part of the services a disabled person needs, depending on how much money they have. The help local councils might give to disabled people include Better advice and help from their carers. Having a better choice of homes to live in. 
Making the house easier for disabled people to live at home. This might include help with the cost of making the changes. Having better control over their health and well being. The government wants to support disabled people to make their own decisions and choices. The law has rules about how disabled people should be supported to make their own decisions. The law also says when a decision can be made for someone who cannot make their own decisions. In Wales, the government is improving the rules for helping disabled people to live independently. The government has asked disabled people to tell them how they can make these rules better. In Scotland, the government wants to make the quality of care that disabled people get better, whether that is at their own home or in a care home. Care home. These are places where people live. If their care needs cannot be met in their own home, the government in Scotland also wants there to be more houses that meet the needs of disabled people. In Northern Ireland, disabled people are being helped to get the right care and support. It is important for disabled people to be able to stay in their own homes if it is safe for them to do so. They want carers to give good care at home and care homes to only be for people that need them. The UN Committee asked the UK to regularly think. About how its services affect disabled people, and talk to disabled people about this to make sure that they can live independently. The government said In England, the government is thinking about changes it could make to care services for adults that help them with their day to day lives. Later this year, it will share these plans to see what people think about them. The government thinks that it is important to talk to disabled people and their families and people that help them when they are thinking about new policies and services. The government has asked some universities to look into how the Care Act 2014 is working. The Care Act 2014 is a law that helps people to live independently. They will also look at how good local councils are in helping every disabled person to live independently. The UN Committee asked the UK to make sure that local councils have enough money to help disabled people to live independently and to make their own choices on where they live and who they live with. The government said The government is spending a lot of money on social care services. These are services that local councils give to help people that need it. From the year 2016 to 2017, it spent £16.8 billion on this and will spend an extra £9.4 billion. The government is making sure that there will be enough money for supported housing. For disabled people. Supported housing. 
where a disabled or older person can live if they need care, support, or supervision to live as independently as possible in their local area. In England, local authorities can now spend more money on making changes in older people and disabled people's homes to make them easier and safer to live in, such as fitting a ramp or a stairlift. The UN Committee asked the UK to increase the number of disabled people that live independently in their local area, community. The government said, We want disabled people to live independently, such as living in their own home. We also want people to be a part of their local area and community. The Transforming Care programme helps people who have challenging behaviours. This could be someone with a learning disability, such as autism, and includes someone with a mental health condition. It helps people by making the support available in their local area better. It also makes it less likely for people to go into a hospital because of their learning disability. The Building the Right Support programme is reducing the number of people with learning disabilities that have to go into hospital. In this programme, health, education and social care services are working together to help children and young people with learning disabilities to get into work. Money can be given by the local council to help make changes to a disabled person's home, such as fitting a stairlift. This makes sure that the person's home is safe and suitable for them to live in. It can help disabled people to leave hospital sooner or not have to go into hospital or care in the first place. The government has been checking to see if this is working well and how it can be better. The governments in Wales and Scotland are also working to make the services available to people with mental health conditions better. They want to make sure people with mental health conditions are treated the same way as people with physical disabilities such as someone who is unable to walk. The UN Committee asked the UK to give enough support and money to support services for disabled people, including those that live in cities or the countryside. The government said, The government thinks that it is important that disabled people can always access the right care, no matter what their disability is or where they live. The government thinks about the needs of disabled people that need social care when it reviews how much money it is spending on things. We make sure we are regularly checking on what we spend and make changes to make sure it is enough. Section 2. Work and Employment The UN Committee asked the UK to make sure 
that disabled people have the chance to go to work and do the jobs they want to do. And to make sure that disabled people are paid the same as anyone else doing the same job. The government said, The government thinks that disabled people should have the chance to work and achieve their hopes. We want more disabled people to be in work and are helping disabled people get a job or keep their job. There are three and a half million disabled people in work in the UK. Over the last four years, nearly 600,000 more disabled people are now in work. The government has brought some of its staff that are experts on employment, together with staff that understand health, to find new ways of helping people with health conditions to work. The government is making the help available for disabled people to work better. Some of the things they are doing are more disability employment advisors in job centres. These are people that help disabled people to work. Spending more money on the Access to Work programme so that more disabled people can use it. Access to Work helps disabled people that need extra things to be able to work such as specialist computer programmes or a personal assistant. Testing new ideas to find out how much they can help disabled people to work. Getting more employers to understand disability better so that they can give more disabled people jobs and better support. In Wales, the government has an employability plan. This plan will help disabled people get more support to get into work and help employers recruit more disabled people. In Scotland, the government has a plan called A Fairer Scotland for Disabled People. This plan will help get more disabled people into work. The government is talking to disabled people and employers in Scotland to make this happen. The UN Committee asked the UK to make sure that disabled people are treated fairly at work and make sure changes can be made in their workplaces to help them do their job. They also said that the UK should help employers understand how they should do this. The government said The law says that employers must treat all people fairly. This includes disabled people. The law says that employers must make changes to their building or to the way the job is done to help disabled people to work. This is called a reasonable adjustment. People can complain if they think that an employer is not treating them fairly or not making the changes they need to do the job. There are separate people that can help disabled people to understand if they have been treated badly and what to do about it. They will try to sort out arguments between employers and the people that work for them. There is information available on the internet to help people understand what they can do if they think they are being treated unfairly. HTTPS colon 
forward slash forward slash www.gov.uk forward slash discrimination dash your dash rights forward slash what dash you dash can dash do. There is also information on the internet to help employers to understand what they must do to treat the people that work for them fairly, including disabled people. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.gov.uk forward slash government forward slash publications forward slash employing dash disabled dash people dash and dash people dash with dash health dash conditions forward slash employing dash disabled dash people dash and dash people dash with dash health dash conditions. The UN committee asked the government to make sure that the way it decides if someone can get a benefit when their health affects their ability to work is fair. The government said, The government thinks that the way it decides if someone can get a benefit when their health affects their ability to work is fair. But we are doing things to make this better. We talked to disabled people and asked them how we could make this better. But we still need some more information. There is information on the internet to help people to understand how the government makes decisions on benefits for disabled people when their health affects their ability to work. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.gov.uk forward slash employment dash support dash allowance. The government believes that disabled people should be given support and chances to work if they are able to. We do not ask people to work if they can't. If a person that gets a benefit does not do what they have agreed to do, then the amount of money that they get could go down. This is called a sanction. The government does not want people to get less money. Changes are being made to help people to understand what they must do. The UN committee asked the UK to think again about how it employs people in the armed forces. The government said, The government is going to think again about how it employs people in the armed forces and to see whether it can give more disabled people jobs. The government is also doing things to be better at helping people that work in the armed forces that have a health condition or disability. The UN Committee asked the UK to make sure that it meets the aims of the United Nations by making sure that everyone has the chance to work by the year 2030. The government said, The government is making sure that all people, including disabled people, are able to work and earn the same money as anyone else doing the same job. 
The law says that everyone should be paid equally for the work they do. Section 3. Adequate standard of living and social protection. The UN Committee asked the UK to make sure disabled people have enough money to pay for the things they need, including things they need because of their disability. The government said, The government gives money to disabled people to help to pay for things they need. People often refer to this money as benefits. Next year, the UK government will spend a lot of money, around £54 billion, on benefits for disabled people and people with long-term health conditions. This is the highest amount they have ever spent. Universal Credit There is a new benefit called Universal Credit that is replacing some older benefits. It has been made to be easier for people to understand how it works and better to help people get into work. Universal Credit is a benefit that can be paid to disabled people. And we have made a change that gives more money to more severely disabled people. As universal credit is a new benefit, some people will continue to get their current benefits until they are told they will be changing to universal credit. This may happen in the next few years. When this happens, we will make sure that people do not get less money when they change to universal credit, unless something has happened that changes their circumstances. Personal Independence Payment Personal Independence Payment is another new benefit that some disabled people can get. It helps with the extra costs of having a disability, such as help getting around. The amount you get depends on how your condition affects you. Personal independence payment is replacing an older benefit called disability living allowance. More people that get the personal independence payment benefit get the largest amount of money that can be paid. Employment and Support Allowance Employment and Support Allowance is a benefit that helps disabled people and people with a health condition that are not working whilst helping them to get into work. A change has been made that means people that start getting employment and support allowance after April 2017 get the same amount of money as people that are looking for work and don't have a health condition. This is less than some people got before, but means that more money is being spent by the government on things to help people with a health condition or disability to get into work. The UN Committee asked the UK to make sure that when it makes important decisions, it doesn't unfairly affect disabled people. The government said, The UK government makes important decisions on the things they do to help people. Checks are made to see if they could unfairly affect different groups of people. One of these groups are disabled people. The UN Committee asked the UK to change the rules for getting benefits 
in particular, personal independence payment. The government said, Changes are made regularly to the personal independence payment benefit to make it better. An important change has been made to the rules of personal independence payment that means some people will get more money. The UN Committee asked the UK to make sure local councils have enough money to provide services to disabled people in the places that they live. The government regularly reviews how much money councils in England get to make sure that they can provide services to people in the place that they live. This includes the services that are used by disabled people. The government is thinking about ways that it can improve how it does these reviews. In Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland, reviews are also done to make sure councils have the money they need to provide services to people in the place that they live. The UN Committee asked the UK to think about the things it asks people that get benefit to do. The government said, The government thinks that it is important that people that can work should do everything that they can to get a job. And that people that could work in the future do things to help them prepare to work in the future. If a person that gets a benefit does not do what they have agreed to do, then the amount of money that they get could go down. This is called a sanction. The government does not want people to get less money. Changes are being made to help people to understand what they must do. If a person gets a sanction, then they can ask for hardship payments which can help people to pay for essential things that they need. In Scotland, people can ask for money from the Scottish Welfare Fund. Section 4. Follow-up information on the recommendations made by the committee in its inquiry report. The following information is about the things that the UN Committee asked the UK to do when they reviewed how we were doing on disability rights in 2016. The UN Committee asked the UK to make sure that when it makes important decisions, it doesn't unfairly affect disabled people. The government said, The government makes important decisions on the things they do to help people. Checks are made to see if they could unfairly affect different groups of people. One of these groups is disabled people. The UN Committee asked the UK to make sure that when new policies are made about where and how disabled people live and what benefits they can get, the government needs to think about and protect the rights and needs of disabled people. The government said, The government thinks that disabled people should make decisions that affect them, such as where they live. People that get personal care have more choice in how this is done, through personal health budgets. Personal health budgets A personal health budget is an amount of money to support a person's health and well-being needs. This is planned and agreed between you, 
or someone who represents you, and your local National Health Service team. It is not new money, but it may mean spending money differently so that a person can get the care they need. The Employment and Support Allowance Benefit is an example of how the rights and needs of disabled people are thought about. The amount of money people get depends on their health. Some people can get more money if their health is worse than others. And support to get into work does not focus on what people can't do, but thinks more positively about what people can do. The UN Committee asked the UK to make sure that disabled people get money to pay for things they need because of their disability. The government said, the government gives money to disabled people to help pay for things they need. There are a number of different benefits that disabled people can get. This includes personal independence payment that can help with the extra costs of having a disability, such as help getting around. There is also a scheme called Motability that helps people with the costs of getting around. It lets people that qualify swap their benefit to get a car, scooter or powered wheelchair. The UN Committee asked the UK to make sure that information from the government can be read and understood by disabled people. The government said, The law says that the government and other people like employers must not make things harder for disabled people. This includes making sure that information that disabled people can understand is available. Information about employment support and benefits is available in lots of different ways, such as Braille, large print and audio. The Minister for Disabled People, Health and Work is making changes to improve the information about benefits so that it is easier to understand. These changes will be shared with other parts of the government so that they can also improve. In Scotland, British Sign Language is part of the law and its use is being encouraged. The UN Committee asked the UK to make sure that support is available to help disabled people use the law, including if they don't agree with a decision about their benefits. The government said, there is support available that can help people to use the law if they think they have been treated unfairly. People can ask for help with how much it costs them through a service called Legal Aid. And the Civil Legal Advice Service can help people to understand what to do. The UN Committee asked the UK to make sure that the government talks to disabled people about new services so that they can tell them how they feel about it. The government said, The government regularly talks to disabled people when they are making new policies or services. This is so that disabled people can tell them how they feel about it and new services can be made to be helpful for disabled people. The UN Committee asked the UK to make sure that disabled people aren't hurt 
or made fun of by other people. The government said, The government takes this very seriously. It thinks that nobody should be hurt or made fun of because they are disabled. The law says that this should not happen. The government has a plan to make improvements. We want to make sure that disabled people feel confident in telling the police when bad things happen to them. And that the people that commit crimes against disabled people are punished. Schools are also making sure that children that have a disability are not bullied at school. We also want to make the internet a safe place for disabled people and make sure that disabled people aren't bullied or made fun of by other people on the internet. We are also helping employers to understand more about disability so that they don't think badly about disabled people and give more disabled people jobs. The UN Committee asked the UK to make sure that when new services are being made, different groups of disabled people are thought about. This could be disabled people on a low income or people that have more than one disability. The government said, When the government is making new services, checks are made to see if they could unfairly affect different groups of people. One of these groups is disabled people. The UN Committee asked the UK to make sure that they keep thinking about policies and services regularly to make sure that they aren't treating disabled people unfairly. The government said, The government doesn't stop thinking about how policies or services affect people once they have started. They regularly think about these and make changes if they find out that people are being treated unfairly. The government asks an organisation that is separate to the government called the Equality and Human Rights Commission to make sure that the government is doing its checks. Section 5 more things we are doing to make sure that disabled people are being treated fairly. This booklet has shown what the government has said to the UN Committee in response to what they asked us to do. This next part shows some more things that we are doing to make sure that disabled people are being treated fairly. The government wants to stop the things that make it harder for disabled people in their day-to-day -day lives. We are already doing well, but we think we can do more to make sure disabled people have the same chances in life as people who are not disabled. We have lots of examples where we have done things better for disabled people. Equality we have protected the rights of disabled people for a long time. We have strong laws in place to protect these rights. The Disability Discrimination Act 1995 in Northern Ireland and the Equality Act 2010 in England, Scotland and Wales set out the rules to make sure disabled people are treated equally to people that don't have a disability. Earlier this year, the Prime Minister put together a new group to make things better for disabled people.
This group is made up of ministers, who are the people in charge of different parts of the government. For example, health or transport. By bringing these people together, they can make sure that the services that disabled people use help disabled people. The government thinks that it is important to talk to disabled people and listen to what they say about the services that they use. We want to make sure the government is better at listening to disabled people. We want to make sure that when we are making new policies or services, that disabled people have a chance to tell us what they think about these. Transport. We want to make sure disabled people can travel easily and without extra cost. In England, the government is working to make transport easier to use. We are protecting disabled passengers' rights, giving better training to transport staff about disability, and giving better travel information about assistance and journeys to people. The government has been working with disabled people and groups such as the Disabled Persons Transport Advisory Committee to do this. We are spending more money on making transport easier to use. In England, we are increasing the numbers of changing places toilets in motorway service areas and making sure audio-visual equipment is installed on buses to help people during their journey. We are making more train stations step-free to help people that can't get around as easily as other people. We are also making sure it doesn't cost as much for disabled and older people to travel by bus. Housing. The government thinks that it is very important that everyone can get into and move around in their home and other places that they go to. We want to give disabled and older people a better choice of homes they can live in that meet their needs. We also want to make sure older and disabled people receive the right care and support to live at home. For example, by making changes such as a stair lift or to live in supported housing. Supported housing. Where a disabled or older person can live if they need care, support or supervision to live as independently as possible in their local area. Health. We want to make sure that everyone has access to the health care that they need. We think that in the past, people with a mental health condition might not have had as much support as people with a physical condition. We are making sure that people with health conditions like poor mental health, autism or a learning disability can get medical help just as well as someone with a physical condition. We are also improving mental health services for children and young people. We are spending more money on these services and are finding new ways to give mental health support to children and young people in school. We are working closely with disabled people and the organisations that support them to help deliver these improvements. Employment. The government thinks that it is important that disabled people have the same chance to work as people that aren't disabled. It is good that more disabled people are now in work than before, but we want more disabled people to be in work in the future.
We are trying out new ideas to find out what more we can do to help disabled people to get into and stay in work. We are also working with employers to help them employ more disabled people and support them while they are working. We are also working to get more disabled people, including people with a learning disability, to have better access to apprenticeships. These are jobs that also provide training. Being included in society. We are working to get more disabled people involved in watching, volunteering and taking part in sports. The number of disabled people in public offices is still too low. This year in England, we will help more disabled candidates run for local elections. Helping disabled people in other countries. As well as making things better for disabled people in the UK, the government wants to help disabled people in other countries too. The government recently brought together people from different countries and businesses to talk about what more can be done. Lots of countries agreed to do things to improve the lives of disabled people in their countries.